Aloha. Today on Hopped Up Beer Review, we're going to be reviewing Big Wave Golden Ale by Kona Brewing Company. Mahalo for watching. Welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. Be sure to like and subscribe and cheers that notification bell uh, when you get the chance and check us out on social media. The links will be down in the description below. With me, as always, is Andy in the Attic and Jay and I am Ben. What are we going to be drinking today, boys? So today we are going out to the uh, great island of Hawaii and venturing into the big wave golden ale from Kona Brewing Company. So Andy, you want to take it away? No. Nope. <laughs> I just want to no. sit here and bask in your glory. Oh, I know. You, you love the take pink flamingos. With the, yeah. Palm trees. Uh, so I, I do know this one comes this, in. The, the beauty. <clears throat> this is a 4.4%. So yeah. a really nice golden ale. Um, I've been excited about it. It's been in my fridge for some time and been looking forward to putting on this shirt just to sell um, I was about to say, showing off all our Hawaiian shirts. Uh, Absolutely. To get this so, going. This is our third from Kona. So we got to show off the gear. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what the IBUs are on this. Uh, do you guys have a 21. indication? 21, so fairly low. Um, should be good. Let's crack it. Let's get going. I feel like a loser without the hot up beer glass. Yeah, where and is you this? are. You are. <laughs> So I don't have anything else to say about it. I mean, that's just the epitome mm -hmm. of it. So soon. soon. As in maybe a month. Yeah. It's gold. Yep. You got a good day. Yep. We all did. Well, it's uh from pale two row premium malt as well as caramel 20 two types of hops uh galaxy and citra wow all that from your nose wow that's impressive andy yeah rivaling the toucan <laughs> cheers mate <laughs> cheers mate. <laughs> And I, I don't know about you, but I think, uh, Andy, maybe you can speak to this. This one probably tastes a little bit better in the hopped up beer review glass than Same. I'm guessing what, what Jay has. Um, just a guess. I, I mean, I'm on the edge of euphoria, and I think it is uh, this vessel right yeah. here. Part of that is, like, the first sip I had seemed like it was, like, 90% foam and 10% beer. This is uh, well, cheers. Yeah. Cheers, mate. I've been looking forward to drinking this after the previous two Konas. Yeah. Uh, I've been, I'm just, I'm a Kona fan now. I've been impressed. The Gold Cliff IPA followed by the Longboard Lager. I mean, those were not what yeah. I expected considering <laughs> there's such a macro wide distribution type of brewery. Yeah, very solid offerings across the board from those guys. Uh, it doesn't matter. I think what would we say last time that they, you know, the original breweries in Hawaii, but they have two or is it two or three others in the states? Yeah, Are they Fort Collins. Them? No, yeah, yeah. Uh, four: Fairfield, California; Fort Collins, Colorado; Portland, Oregon; Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Oh, yeah. Merrimack, New Hampshire. Five. Yeah. So to be able to replicate the the recipes the way that they have and be on point across the board their their process is phenomenal so. and have you guys had 
uh, big wave for more. Mm -mm. No, I think I have a, a long while back. It's it's been probably four or five years. I don't I don't even know that I rated it uh, at the time. Yeah. yeah, I know it was one that I would drink periodically uh, when I lived in New York. Um, you know, they had it on draft. Uh, a, a few of the places that that I would I would visit. So definitely. You know, along with the can art, you know, it's definitely hard to miss a Kona tap handle too. Um, yeah, because they're they're very descriptive. So, um, uh, so I, I know that I used to grab it uh, if for no other reason, just to try it because of the tap handle was was yeah. so unique. Yeah, their marketing is is next to none. So, I mean, they do a great job. So, and to be fair, they have a, a wide, you know canvas of things to work with being from Hawaii where they're, you know, I don't know of any other Hawaii uh, brewery um, off the top of my head. So I'm sure there are, there are some, but um, uh, you know, they've obviously, like you said, done a good job of marketing um, their products based off of Hawaii. Uh, so no, I, to those guys. I, th I think by far they are the most successful out of that region and uh, definitely by by far out of that state um, absolutely re regions <laughs> limited to the state so um, highly highly successful so all right let's well, rate let's this move to the rating phase um, Andy since uh, you don't it's know my... that you've had this before I haven't had it um, you're up I'm up it's a uh, this is like the other two we've had, the Longboard Lager and the um, Gold Cliff IPA, this is like a beer drinker's beer. It's it's a solid offering for this style um, for a gold nail, just like the lager was in the IPA. It's and I'm, I'm con again, like I said, I'm continually impressed by Kona for doing it, for having your breweries all over the place and being able to do uh, such a uh, consistently good beer um i'm giving it a seven and a half all right jay what you got yeah you and uh, you and i think i like andy i mean i'm <clears throat> i'm continually impressed kona to be able to replicate the beers that they have at a craft beer level i mean if you're at a macro level you know the the bud lights your coors lights the those they they can mass produce them but going into the ingredients on a craft beer to be able to replicate that is a completely different story and to show that these guys can do it across five six different locations it's phenomenal um extremely impressed and continue to love kona um it's one of those whenever i can find it i typically try to buy it um in, in our stores here locally um, so I'm the same page as you. I put this seven and a half. It's a great, easy drink and beer. I take this one every day to the pool, to the river, to the lake, you know, <laughs> after you cut the grass, anything like that, it's, it's a great beer. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna just basically agree with you guys. It's, it's a fantastic beer. This was actually the, the reason when I saw the, the Kona box that's over my shoulder here, uh, at my local wholesale uh, Sam's Club uh, that I got it so for us to review because I really like the big wave uh, golden ale uh, and, and having had that before was the reason why I actually bought the box for us to try, you know, try the other ones because I knew how much I had enjoyed this one previously. Um, so for me, this one's an eight all day long. Um, if you have the chance to pick up, you know, this box or any other Kona, uh, Kona beers, you know, be sure to check them out. Um, don't, don't pass them by because, you know, for a company, again, that kind of acts as a macro, I mean, they produce some really great beer as we've reviewed on this show um, and, and have enjoyed, uh, you know, reviewing on the show as well. Hands down. That will give us a 7.7 .7 for the Big Wave Golden Ale out of Kona Brewing Company. This stuff is liquid aloha as they print right there on the can. So be sure if you get the chance to pick up some Kona, 
beer, be sure to do it uh, because as we've already reiterated, it is fantastic uh, and just all around solid, solid products from those guys. Uh, you can definitely check out some of our other reviews for Kona Brewing um, and that'll give you some idea of, of, of what we thought of the other products as well. Um, with that, again, be sure to like and, and subscribe uh, and cheers that notification bell uh, just to help us out here on Hopped Up Beer Review. Uh, for Andy and Jay, I am Ben. We will catch you guys on the next beer review. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Do you have your eyes dilated? Yes, I've been to the eye doctor today. Kona solves glaucoma. <laughs>